Highland Park School officials held an open meeting tonight to discuss school safety measures in light of the July 4th parade shooting. And Jenna Barn is live now in Highland Park with more on this tonight. Jenna. Ray and Dina, the school board here says the security conversation didn't start on July 4th, but that shooting certainly added urgency and parents have their own ideas on how to make the district safer. The only thing that is going to stop a mass shooting at a school is keeping guns out of the school. Ashby Beasley and her first grade son ran for their lives on the 4th of July. And like many families, their anxiety is running high for the first day of school. Every parent is probably having concerns and discussions about school safety. She's asking North Shore District 112, which serves children in pre-K through 8th grade, to consider banning visitors from bringing bags into school buildings. It would make it easier for our front desk people to be able to look at a person and see their hands are free, see they're not carrying anything and to have more confidence letting them into the building and also removing the need for searches and for metal detectors. Beasley joined other parents impacted by the parade shooting addressing the school board Thursday night. I will never forget the horror of not knowing where our children were while there was a shooter on the loose. The thought of them being threatened with gun violence while at school is a horror that I feel in my body. It terrifies me to think that, that my, the day that I send them to school, that's going to be the last day I'm going to see them. It really breaks my heart. The board met to talk safety, but it says on the advice of their security consultant, that discussion happened behind closed doors. I don't really trust secret meetings. Um, you're making decisions with our tax dollars, and those are our children. All ideas are under consideration. Superintendent Dr. Michael Lubefeld says both July 4th and the school shooting in Uvalde have led them to reflect on their security procedures for behavioral threat assessment, response protocols, and facility hardening, ensuring they're aligned with the recommendations of the Illinois Terrorism Task Force. We have a sophisticated cameras and sophisticated locking mechanisms. We're looking to see, can we up the ante a little bit? Are they the right cameras? Are they the right locking mechanisms? So in areas where we might need to upgrade, we're literally accelerating that and we're doing that in real time. As the first day of the year nears in a traumatized community. And we're going to do everything in our power and with our hearts and minds to protect them and to help them enter into this transition right now. He says any changes to policy will be announced before the first day of school on the 24th. The board is also considering a $100 million ballot measure to improve deferred maintenance on some schools. And he says they may want to increase that dollar amount to account for immediate safety needs. That will be a topic of conversation at the next meeting on Tuesday. We're live in Highland Park tonight. Jenna Barnes, WGN News. Okay, Jenna, thanks.